At the basic level of a French tank unit is the Leclerc main battle tank and its crew. Because the Leclerc's Model F1 120mm cannon is loaded via a bustle autoloader, it only has three crew members. The commander, gunner, and driver. This detail alone sets France apart, as it was NATO's only operator of an auto-loaded NBT not derived from a Soviet design until the Polish received delivery of the South Korean K2 Black Panther. Four Leclerc's together make up the armored group of the platoon. One of the tanks is commanded by the platoon leader. They usually rank lieutenant, but can also be a non-commissioned officer known as an adjutant. After serving as a chief sergeant for three years, NCOs can go for their third level military certificate, or BM-3, which allows them to take command of a platoon. Doctrinally speaking, one out of four tank platoons in the squadron is meant to be commanded by an NCO rather than an officer, although this likely varies. In most other cases, tank commanders are the equivalent of a sergeant, known as a Maréchal de Logis in the cavalry. In rarer cases, a chief brigadier, which is a junior rank equivalent to a master corporal, can act as a tank commander. The two other crewmen in each tank typically rank between the equivalent of a private first class and a chief brigadier. The platoon also has an investigation group. This element is made up of four VBL 4x4 scout cars armed with 7.62 and 50 caliber machine guns. We have a whole video on the historical rationale and role of these vehicles, but to sum it up, they do limited scouting and security work for the platoon. The group is split into two patrols, each with an additional NCO. Each vehicle is crewed by a commander, driver, and gunner manning either a 7.62 or 50 caliber MG. However, because in theory Leclerc tank squadrons are meant to have the same manning as AMX-10 RC squadrons, despite having more vehicles, one VBL only has two personnel authorized on paper. Between the patrols, they also carry a marksman rifle and an AT-4CS anti-tank weapon. In addition to these tactical elements, each platoon also has a relief truck. Currently, a 6x6 Renault GBC-180, nominally with a 50 caliber machine gun on a ring mount. The purpose of this truck is to carry extra supplies for the platoon and do liaison work, and comes under the direction of the deputy platoon leader separate from the company trains. In practice, this truck should be manned by two soldiers, a driver and a gunner for its 50 cal. However, due to keeping in line with AMX-10 RC manning, in Leclerc units, it isn't permanently manned on paper. Four tank platoons make up a tank squadron. In most cases, Leclerc regiments have cavalry traditions, so they use squadron to describe the company echelon like the British cavalry. The exception is the 501st Tank Regiment, which, having separate tanker traditions, has a 1st and 2nd Company and a 3rd Squadron. The historical reason for the 3rd Squadron is during operations in North Africa during 1943, two tank companies and a mixed squadron of armored cars and tanks were brought together to reform the 501st Tank Regiment. Today, the squadron's 3rd Tank Company carries on that legacy. As close combat elements, the tank platoons are led and sustained by the Command and Logistics Platoon, or PCL. Command and control is provided by command and signals groups that, among other things, includes a tank for the squadron commander, a VPC command post based on the VBCI infantry fighting vehicle, command variant VBLs, and other light vehicles. In the past, they would have had Peugeot P4s, but these have been replaced by the VT4 based on the Ford Everest, or, in lesser numbers, the Mastec T4 based on the Toyota Land Cruiser. Logistics and medical elements also form the core of the company trains, designated TC1. This includes an armored ambulance, light vehicle, and three 6x6 trucks of the Echelon Group led by the adjutant or chief adjutant. But the trains can be reinforced in practice, with possible attachments including recovery vehicles, CCP-10 fuel trucks, and mechanics from the regiment's command and logistics squadron. In practice, a French tank squadron never fights alone. They take elements from different regiments, ideally within the same brigade, to form company teams called Combined Arms Tactical Subgroups, or SGTIAs. 
These are the basic deployable units of the French army. The specific components are task organized and vary inherently, but a generic example of an armored dominant company team might see the tank squadron's command platoon and two to three tank platoons reinforced by an armored infantry platoon mounted on VBCI infantry fighting vehicles, a reconnaissance and intervention platoon, engineer platoon mounted on VABs, heavier engineer elements like an EBG armored engineer vehicle if it's necessary, and an artillery observation and coordination element attached from an artillery regiment. The latter includes a fire coordination officer who advises the squadron commander, as well as a number of forward observers mounted on artillery observation variants of the wheeled VAB or tracked AMX 10P depending on the regiment. If you want to learn more about the tactics and rationale behind this structure, check out our earlier deep dive on the history of French tank organization. We'll see you over there.